friend of yours. I haven't yet seen your kitchen, but I, <laughs> but I, but I hope to one day, Mr. Speaker. You've done an enormous amount for this House, and you've done an enormous amount to empower this chamber, Mr. Speaker. Mr. Speaker, we do share a weakness, and we both know what that weakness is, Mr. Speaker. We both have a temper. And we need to work together, Mr Speaker, to better manage our tempers in the future. I was quite cross with a couple of very decent whips yesterday, and I apologise to them today, as I did yesterday. Mr Speaker, but this report shouldn't be about you, and it is becoming about you. And I fear the Government has wanted it to become about you. It should be about the position of Speaker. Yeah. Mr Speaker, on the 6th of February 2013, my committee decided to bring forward this report. We were going to recommend a motion that the status quo be retained. This was an amendable motion, so those colleagues who disagreed could have amended that motion and a vote could have taken place. On the 7th of February, I wrote a letter to the then Leader of the House, the Right Honourable Member of South Cambridgeshire, notifying him of this matter and also asking that our debates be taken in prime time so the whole House could come to an informed decision. At about that time, circumstances meant that the Government felt unable to bring forward the report and we agreed with the Government's view on this matter. On the 28th of January, we met with the Leader of the House and had further discussions about various reports, including the election of the Speaker. I did send a letter on the 3rd of February confirming the Committee's view, firm view, unanimous view, and the Committee is made up of all sorts of people from all sorts of parties, that any vote should take place in prime time so that the House could come to an informed decision. I do say to the Government that this is not, I think, how they expected today to play out. The Government was hoping that the party would be kept here under a three-line whip for a party meeting and others would have gone home. Yeah. This does not reflect well on the Government. Yes. But can I, just, can I just say this? How you treat people in this place is important. This week, I went to the Leader of the House's leaving drinks. I spent 20 minutes saying goodbye to his special adviser yesterday. I went into his private office and was passed by the Deputy Leader of the House yesterday, all of whom would have been aware of what they were proposing yeah. to do. Yeah. I also had a number of friendly chats with our Chief Whip yesterday. And yet I find out at 6.30 last night that, you, that this, that this House, the leader of this House, is bringing forward my report. Mr. Speaker, I have been played as a fool. Yeah. Yeah. And when I go home tonight, yeah. I will look in the mirror and see an honourable fool looking back at me. And I would much rather be an honourable fool, Mr. Speaker, in this and any other matter than a clever man. Yeah.